former foreign affairs minister Amino Wali Six sat Easterners are their own worst enemies in their bid to produce Nigerian's president. Wale, who is a founding leader of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, said that the Zoom could have produced Nigerian's president as far back as 1999 if they worked together. Hello everyone, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do. And don't forget to click the follow button. This is where you get updates whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much once again. I do appreciate. Now, the news reads in detail. The former Foreign Affairs Minister, Amino Wale, says South Easterners are their own worst enemies in their bid to produce Nigerian's president. Wale, who is a founding leader of People's Democratic Party, PDP, said that the Zoom could have produced Nigerian's president as far back as 1999 if they worked together. He said South Easterners are their own worst enemies, and maybe you will ask me why I said so, or later told Saturday Sun. When asked to elaborate, Wale says who is due to clock 80 in August explained, well, like I said, back in 1999, I was among the founding fathers of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. It is very well known within the PDP that I have always been a strong promoter of Dr. Alex Ikweme to the, to the last. I know what happened when, he, when we went to Jaws for the party's convention. Why I said that the South Easterners are their worst enemies is that at the convention, only Anambra State, which is own state, voted for Dr. Alex Ikweme. Most of the voters that he got, he got them from some of us that were able to get other parts of the country to support him. His own people betrayed him. I don't want to call names because I know that they know that I know. But for that, reason, for that action of the Igbo people themselves, Igbo presidency would have been a forgotten issue by now. We won't be dwelling on this by now, but somehow it happened. Ole said that the attitude displayed by South East politicians in 1999 was still being displayed now, more than years later. Also, up to now, when you look at the way the Igbo people are approaching politics in Nigeria, they don't come out as a united people. They are always divided. Now, Governor Dave Umai says, I am leaving because we want the Igbo presidency. But I tell you that inside the Igbo enclave, there are those people that are aspiring very hard for the position of the vice president. You have to, to, you have to have a united front and reach out beyond the Igbo enclave to get the presidency. We really don't want an Igbo president. What we want is a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction. We don't want Igbo president. For example, Onda Shagari, he was a Fulani man from Sokoto, but he was a Nigerian president. Those that worked with him knew he was a Nigerian president and not Aousa or Fulani president. So, the approach the Igbo should take is to try and produce a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction a candidate that is acceptable to everybody that feels that Nigeria is 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 constituency. That is what Ekweme was able to do to get out of that enclave and become a nationalist. That was what Dr. Azikiwe was able to do. He came out of that enclave and became a nationalist. The present generation of Igbo has to go back to history and learn from history. And there are a lot of good materials from Igbo land that believe in Nigeria, he said. <laughs> honestly, honestly, you have, just, you have just said it all. You understand? 
who has here let them hear is it not they said a, a a word is enough for the wise because the way the Igbo people are going the way the Igbo people are going about this presidency i just feel hmm, that at the end of the day they will not lose this presidency they are agitating for they are not united that is the first thing they fight themselves and you people are asking for one goal if any house that is divided nothing happens if your house is divided nothing good comes out from there that is the gospel truth so first of all they should go and put their house in order that is the only way they can win this battle now they are against the biafra nation the agitation of biafra they've rejected that one they said they are for nigeria now the nigeria you are saying you are for you are not working towards it to see that you achieve your goals at the end of the day this is a very very serious matter and they have to look into this because it will be a very shameful thing that at the end of the day you people that is asking for president they will manage to give you vice president and you will be happy <laughs> so they have to look into this because everybody's saying it the northerners most of them don't even want the uh, the president to come from that uh, Igbo or whatever so they have to do something about this if not at the end of the day they will lose out and i pray that god should see them true understand so hello guys i'm gonna drop it here for now let's hear from you what's your view on this kindly leave your opinion below the comment section Thank you very much for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.